battle between the New York Jets and the Tennessee Titans. The calendar has turned to December, and we're in the home stretch now as we're underway in week 13. This is taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Now a first carry for Deontay Foreman, who was lost to the Achilles injury last year. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Second down throw for Bridgewater. It's complete to Golden Tate. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Seven yards on the quick slant and a first down. Mm. Mama, what are you working on over there? What are you doing? Bridgewater now looking to throw on first. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. He got 29 yards that time. Not nothing. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football, and that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. A first down throw for Bridgewater. Now he's hit, and Bridgewater loses the football. And the Jets have recovered. A little careless with the football, and he also had a fumble loss last week, didn't he? He certainly did, and when I'm watching him play, the one thing that comes to mind is always remember. Traffic, turbulence, people around you. Two hands. Get two hands on the ball. Grip it tight. I know it looks cool to have it in one hand, but put it away. Tuck it away because you've got to take care of the ball. Good starting position for the Jets as they come up first and ten. They'll run it here. This is James White, and he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. From the 50, it's Watson. And he hits the tight end. It's Davis. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. Uh, coaches always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Right 
Here's the first carry for LaShawn McCoy. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so Thank far you, here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Now a carry for White. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. On second down, it's McCoy. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Well, when you go from second and four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. Watson on third down. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Austin Hooper, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Jets have taken a first quarter lead. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Goskowski now out to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And last time, the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt like they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Mm. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Bridgewater now on second down. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. This is the correct call. They'll run it now. This is Chark Hendrick West. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Second down, Bridgewater. He's going to let one fly for Tate. It's caught inside the 25. And deep he goes into Jets territory before being taken down. A big play that time for the Titans. 52 yards. The first red zone opportunity for the Titans. They've got a first and goal from the 10-yard line. They'll run it now out of the gun. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. <laughs> They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll be second and goal. <laughs> with the former volunteer Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Titans with the football here to begin quarter number two. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. So first down went in the wrong direction. They're at the 13-yard line. Here's second and goal. Alert, alert. Bridgewater to throw it. 
Steps away to his left. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Jared Cook, his second touchdown on the season. And the Titans are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Oh, my goodness. And it's no good. He misses the extra point, and this remains a 7-6 game. Oh, piss. Mama. So we're back to a one-point game now as the kickoff comes. This will be taken to the Not back of nothing. the end zone. Ah, you and this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Here's the Jet offense now. They head out to take over. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They begin the drive on the ground. It's white. And an alley to run. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Partner, I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. Now White. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. It's a loss of two, now third down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Third and two, Watson. It's complete to Grant. And he'll be brought down, but a tip of the cap on the spin move as that mm -hmm. gives him a first mm -hmm. down. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. On first and ten, Watson. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Challenge it, yeah, maybe. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. So the ref takes a peek here, wants to see if the receiver had possession and both feet inbounds. If this were a college game, this would be a legal catch. It's the second foot that they're looking at to make sure it gets down. You have to have two inbounds in the NFL. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Hey, hey, hey. On second and 10, Watson. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. He had the touchdown on the opening drive. Now he's got a first down. Nice job. Nice patience right there. Put him on the right side. Let him work his way across. Put the ball in his hands and let him work his way upfield with a catch. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Watson on first down. And he dumps it off to Blunt. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. They'll give him eight on the play, and that'll bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he'll go down at the 28. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Here's Blunt, down right around the 25. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here's White, and an alley to run. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. 
And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Right back to him on first down. And he's got this one down to the 10. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Now a toss play. This is White. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. James White with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Jets are going to add on to their lead. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, What are you listening right? to, baby? If they're smart, they do. Killing? Figuring out how to kill me? That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Stepping up, he'll try and run. Oh, and he'll oh, find dude. some space up to about the 25. Six yards there on the keeper. It's second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. I spent a lot of extra time preparing for this game watching this offensive line because they gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. They don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit, right? Four guys might have it right, but the fifth guy is giving something up. They've got to find a way to all get on the same page. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. With it is Brown. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Jets will take over first and 10. So out now come the Jets. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Blow it away, blow it away. Well, can you make it they something? No. He's going deep for Brown. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. Now it's Watson, a bootleg, sliding out of the pocket. He's going deep for Brent into a double team, and it's intercepted. William Jackson with a pick. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance, he's helping his team in a huge way. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, 
and have a chance to affect the pass. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. They go play action. Bridgewater. And Cook has it. Left side. 23 yards on the play. Such a valuable commodity to have a tight end who can run and get open. How about what he just did there? Worked his way from right to left across the field and found his way free. Now a play fake here on first down. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Bridgewater on first down. Oh, oh I had him. He sat back him. around the 28. Crap. Thomas Davis. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Dang it. That was my shot right there. Son of a beast. Mama, what are we going to do about it? Me Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. From the gun, Bridgewater. Nice. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 14. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Thirteen seconds, the time remaining in the half as they come up on first down. After the interception, here's Watson. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the rookie corner, Jair Alexander. And a potential turning point as they'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. Following the interception, here's Bridgewater. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Final play of the half, Bridgewater. He's going to look deep down the field. And that is incomplete. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Jets on top as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach... And the Jets set to receive this third quarter kickoff, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in the second half. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. They have the lead, now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers or counters, as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Now a first down throw. Watson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game. Instead, 
They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. He lost two there, and it's third down. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Throwing on third down, Watson going deep for Hopkins. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by the rookie corner, Jair Alexander. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because oh, here we are in December. Giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. Hey, hey, hey. Four down, four down, four down. First down, Bridgewater. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and it'll make it second down. Is that not the very definition of a tough yard gained? Now, is that one where as the receiver, you go to your quarterback and say, why'd you even throw that? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. you do. And I think you wonder, what type of a route are you going to send me on that only one yard is going to be the result? If I'm going to go in there and take contact, let's go and get something out of it, not just one yard. A second down throw for Bridgewater. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet inbounds, toe tapping, and, of course, foot dragging. Little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Third and short yardage, Bridgewater. Cook with a first down and much more. And he finds Cook. And all the way up to the 45-yard line. He had their lone TD earlier. Now he's got a first down. A carry for Foreman. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, it's hard to get them started again occasionally. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. And that's complete to Jesse James. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Bridgewater on third and two. And he's got Sneed. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. First time they've looked his way in this game. He comes through picking up the first. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Bridgewater now looking to throw on first. Caught by Sneed over the middle. And oh. brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. All the right, Titans time for me to throw an on this drive. Probably. There's another first down. One of the feature points of the in route 
is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. They'll run it with West. And able to work his way down to the 16. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second down, Bridgewater. Oh my gosh, you got to be kidding me. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard <laughs> uh, uh, line. It's a wide loss of two, open. now third down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts Bobby of the person catching the ball because all you're ever yeah, doing is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. On third down, Bridgewater. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Uh. Able to get there and pick it. And a great return as they're finally able to take him down. I meant to run the ball. And Brandon, this is a real R1 nice job defensively of getting inside of a quarterback's beach. head and figuring out, okay, where no. is he going with the football? I meant to because run the ball. Because you can make an educated guess defensively. Whatever. Not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. They'll start the drive with a give to White. And he finds enough of an opening to get this one back up to Got his Lindale White, Ellen. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Crap. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Wow. Get the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. They keep it on the ground, white again. What Back else now in do? Nashville. It's Jet football as they've got the lead here, and we get set to begin quarter number four. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run with White. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. Now it's Watson, and Davis with it left side. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. <laughs> Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Jets move the chains. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Now a handoff looking right. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Now he'll escape to his right. And that's going to be incomplete. <laughs> James White, the man he was looking for out of the backfield. And it's third down. It certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. The Jets on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 11. Back to throw. Watson. He's going to sling this deep downfield. Oh, he almost intercepted it. They're just forcing it into too many tough spots. That was almost a fourth pick of the game. And now fourth down. Here's Sam Cook now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Oh, 
Holy smokes. Here well, comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Number one. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. A run by Foreman to start the drive. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And give him a lot of credit there, but even more credit to the guys up front. In that situation, you know it's going to be a stacked defensive front. And to be able to gain that much yardage, that's a big win for the guys on offense. Yeah, they were just about standing on their own goal line, so to get a few yards there, a great start. Now we'll see what second down brings. And they'll get him down right at around the 11-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Out from the shadows of their goal line, here's first and 10 from the 11. And he will lose yardage here back to his own six. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. And yet again, this run game just continues to be completely shut off. Completely stymied. I mean, they're trying to get some consistency, trying to find places to roam. They just haven't been there throughout this game. Here's Bridgewater. And that'll be incomplete. I think someone's going to get into QB 1-0 when he gets to the sideline. Already thrown an interception. That one should have been picked. Look, let's just be honest about it. That would be the second person in his ear because he's hearing it in the huddle right now. Not the start to the game he wanted. Like you said, the pick on the opening drive, second drive, not much better. The Titans on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and 15. On play action, it's Bridgewater. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air... Almost turns into slow motion and both sides trying to get to the football and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. Now on fourth down, we've got a whistle here and a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. Hey, watch number five, number four. Huh? Come it, As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Over the middle, complete to Tate. And now this is gonna be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. And they did. Well, they got the slim deficit. Oh, it's a challenge, man. Where's the challenge? They decided to go for it, hoping to keep the football score and erase that deficit, but boy, deep in their own territory. Dang it, that like looked that. like I got Let's it. Let's just say that <laughs> with that call, me and the head coach will agree to disagree. All right? yeah. But he knew he wanted to be aggressive there, as you pointed out. What are you so going to do, you man? Told his defensive coordinator, have your guys up and ready. I'm going to go for it here. If we don't get it, 
Just make sure they're ready to go out there and bail us out. And they'll run it here. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. They stay on the ground with White. He will push his way down to about the 14. T.J. Watt in on the tackle. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. The Jets on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time it's third and three. A shotgun snap for Watson. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Austin Hooper with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Jets find a way to stretch their lead. Goskowski with the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Goskowski now out to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. They go play action here on first down. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line, unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. A second down throw for Bridgewater. Dancing to his left. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. The improv act there, good for nine. And now they'll be looking at a third and short. Third and one. The Titans on third down. Two for five to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. And he Woo! takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And this is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Jets are going to get the football here in great field position. Now the Jets offense about set to take over as they head on to the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Mm. Now 
They'll keep it on the ground with McCoy this time. And that Ooh. play going absolutely Dang, nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. On third down, Watson. It's caught over oh, the middle. Oh, oh, nice. And inside the Face 20 map. before he's brought down. So a decent gain, wow. but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Third and 10 wasn't going to be easy. Now after the holding penalty, they have to deal with a third and 20. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Now another timeout here called by the Titans. As they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Nice kick. That's on target, but it's no good. Oh, oh. He had it on line, but it came up just shy of the crossbar. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, he's got a big leg, and when everything comes together, he can certainly hit from long range. But this one's going to come up just a little bit short. A very good effort, though. Bridgewater on first down. He's going to let it fly. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. And that one results in 35 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. A first down throw for Bridgewater. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's <laughs> not over yet. Okay, so they got the score. Do you go for one here and save the possible two-point conversion for later? I think you do because if you go for two here and you don't get it, that's deflation. Yeah. Now you wonder why you're even going for it. Take the easy one now and come back and try and get it later. Extra point right down the middle as this gets them back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. <laughs> That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So the lead trimmed down to eight as here comes the kickoff, and it's away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they'll be set up with good field position here as he gets this up over the 40-yard line. Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10. The Jets with victory seemingly in hand. They take the knee. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done.
So for the Jets, they continue to make their case for the playoffs as they move to 9-3. and three. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Buffalo to take on the Bills. Meanwhile, for Tennessee, not much more to say. They dropped a 1-11. and 11, And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against Jacksonville. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody. Emily, I thought you were going to eat, babe. Well, I, I, ate, I ate one fourth of a sandwich. Well, that's what I thought. Well, I ate one fourth of a sandwich. Well, that's what I thought. Well, I ate one fourth of a sandwich. What do you want? Taco Bell. Well, let's go then. You already went to Taco Bell today. I'm hungry. I had one taco. I ate one pack.